I'm meteorologist Matt Gray. Freezing rain remains in the forecast. That means a risk for some slippery conditions on the roads and sidewalks across the inland northwest. Winter weather advisories will go until noon on Sunday when conditions should start to improve. We are slowly getting warmer air pushing into the inland northwest. That's progressed our precipitation from snow to sleet and freezing rain. Now to mostly freezing rain and we will make that final leap to just regular non-threatening rain on Sunday. But in between now and then, we are going to see the possibilities of ice accumulations on top of all of this snow that we've had recently. Now, once you get above a tenth of an inch, you start to see things be significantly more hazardous. Luckily, most of the area, because we're expected to see very, very light rain, we're not expecting that level of ice accumulation. However, there is an opportunity, and this has been showing up in our weather forecast computers fairly consistently, if for some spots to get above that tenth of an inch, up to maybe even two tenths or a quarter, which would be, of course, very significant and certainly very severe for any road conditions around there. Now, you can probably, as you see, look at the kind of the full picture of freezing rain accumulations. Uh, you could probably see where the issue is, and it's where we already had issues with freezing rain on Saturday. Grant County, Lincoln, and Adams County, these are the areas where we are going to be looking for the most dangerous road conditions. So that includes a good portion of Highway 2, I-90, as well as 395 between Ritzville and the Tri-Cities. So all of these areas, we really got to be careful, extremely careful, as we uh, see this transition take place from freezing rain to regular rain and here is the freezing rain forecast a little light glaze that will likely make some of those side roads pretty slippery especially around Spokane now we do warm up above freezing for your Sunday and that will bring the freezing rain threat to an end with more wet weather for the week ahead